Good morning. Okay, let's start to slow everything down then. So as the light begins to fade, as we start to come from summer and into autumn, we're going to follow that energy with our bodies, with our medicine. So bring yourself down, seated position, bring your palms together. Let's set our intention. Bring our attention inside by dropping the chin, closing the eyes, lowering the head and take a bow to yourself this morning. Take a bow to each other and take a bow to the living yoga method. I bow to you this morning. Namaste. Okay, so we're looking at the six keys this week. So our first one we need in English is enthusiasm, perseverance, discernment, faith, courage, and inspiring company. And then in Sanskrit, it's via, Tatiksha, Viveka, Shraddha, Parakrama, and Sangha. Well done, everybody, for joining. We're just about to start double breathing. So lay down, open up the chest so it's grounding energy. So you're using the medicine, the yoga, and obviously you can use food to ground. So you're following the season. So it's going to be foods that are rooted foods like um, potatoes and ginger and turmeric and all those things. So just keep nourishing the body. We're going to take it really lightly this morning. Let's make it really gentle so that we can ease ourselves into these energies. Okay. So, so remember, bring your attention to the tip of your nose, watch the air going in and out, but come down into your belly to start off with. We're starting with five light breaths into the belly. One more. Nice and light. It's belly chest. One more. Nice and light. Five in the chest. Just one more. Okay, notice how that feels to make it light and then breathe in. Are you experiencing the same thing? Same energy. You're creating a pathway. So let it go now. Breathe it back out. Connect yourself into that space. And you wanna create that space around you. You're trying to create space between your mind and your psychology, what you're tied into. Our mantra this week has been, I'm not the body, I'm not the mind. I'm not my body and I'm not my mind. Okay, take a deep breath in now. So breathe in nice and deep, make it slow and deep and nourishing this morning. Hold on to it for those 12 seconds. Feel the nourishment of that oxygen in your system. Keep it tight, don't let anything go. And then you want to exhale softly, breathe it back out. Try and create that flow inside your body. Try and make it as smooth as possible. Just 
So just keep thinking nourishing, nourishing yourself with oxygen, flooding your whole system this morning. Let's make it really light because it, because it still works. Okay, so you're going to do 10 breaths into your belly and then 10 breaths up into your chest, but make the breath in light. So let's breathe together. Slow, nourishing, light. Breathe in, belly, breathe out belly. Let go, inhale, last one. Okay, light up into the chest. Feel your heart. Last one. Okay, so really lightly breathe in, but breathe deep, breathe long. Nourish yourself as you draw it up all the way to the top. Keep it steady there. Then you're gonna exhale, letting go of everything. You're trying to let go of that tension, let go of the tension in your body. So relax the arms, shoulders, sink down into the floor. Bring your awareness into that energy. Keep focusing inwards. You're trying to unlock that energy in your spine where it's stored. And you're creating these pathways with your breath. And then we're going to move those pathways, clearing them out with movement. You're activating blood flow in the system. Filling your blood with lots of oxygen and changing its chemistry. We're getting right down into the roots, right down into your cells, right on a cellular level. And that's going to have an effect on your whole body. Helping to loosen any dis-ease in the body. Okay, that's 145. If you haven't breathed, light breath. Breathe in nice and slow. Feel the nourishment of the oxygen and then hold it. Knowing that oxygen has been gifted to you from the trees, from our planet, from the ocean. And you're breathing it in now, you're holding it, you're retaining it. You're giving gratitude to that process and then you're letting it go. So you're consciously breathing every single morning. It's now becoming habitual, like brushing your teeth. Well done, come down into the after poise and then just rest there. So third round, think deep nourishment of the lungs. You're flooding your system with the breath, life force. So bring your attention down into the belly and we're going to do 10 breaths, belly, 10 breaths, belly to chest and then up into the chest. When you're ready then this morning, 10 breaths in your belly, away we go. Make it light and smooth. Ah, 
is easy for you. One more. Okay, now belly to chest. One more here. Okay, now 10 up into the chest. Well done. You've done the work. We're nearly there. Last one. Breathe in now. Take it to the top and hold it. Then let it go when you're ready. Sending the direction inwards and down. You want to ground down in order to create strong foundations in your body, in your practice. And then from this space, see if you can observe, observe your thoughts. Try not to engage in the thoughts. It will happen. But then just try and notice the person who is aware of observing their thoughts. Because you are not your mind. And you are not your body. Keep letting go, make it soft. Feel into any tension, as we wanna be in the tension, not fighting it, not trying to zone out, just being there, fully present. Okay, yogis, that's two minutes. If you haven't breathed, breathe in now. Deep breath, take it to the top and then hold it in for the last 12 seconds. Then let it go, come down into the after poise. Be with yourself, meet yourself on a deep level. Let's have gratitude for our breath, constantly becoming aware of how that can change our lives. Double breathing is now complete. Let's come up to a seated, then standing position. And then let's start creating some movement. So we're not just making shapes for the sake of making shapes. We're actually 
moving that energy, creating channels in your body. So you're moving that energy around. Okay, so stand nice and tall, open your chest this morning, tuck the tailbone under, connect to you. Okay, then breathe in, deep breath. Feel it right down in your bones and then breathe out, let it go. Okay, we're going to come up for our morning stretch. So inhaling, bring your hands up, interlace those fingers, push the palms away. We've got one pulse. Here you're connecting to the rhythm, the unclicking of the joints as you come down. And then inhale, reach up. You're trying to create a flow, okay? So exhale, come down into a forward bend. So flow down, fingers down to your toes, and then bending through the knees. Lift the head, look forward. Exhale, soften off. Just two more pulses here. So let the head hang loose. And then try and draw that energy up from the feet. Bring it all the way up to the top of your head. So you're moving that energy. And then you're exhaling and you're trying to ground yourself down. So ground down through the fingertips, ground down through the feet. Create that bond. Okay. Our first balancing. So bring the head down. And then get ready to come down into Prapadasana. So come up onto the balls of the feet. And then can you bring your hands up into Anjali and hold your balance, open the chest, then breathe in. So up from the balls of your feet to the top of your head. Imagine those energy channels running through the body. You're grounding down, you're ready to interlace the fingers. Bring your hands up above your head. And then you're pulsing with that energy. Exhale, softening through the elbows. Your connection to life, the rhythm. Inhaling, going to come back into that forward bend. So exhale, come down into your forward bend. Ground down through your feet and get ready to draw it up with your fingertips. Draw that energy right up. You're creating a flow. Okay, exhale, come back down into a forward bend, flowing straight into the warrior. So right foot back, so coming into triangle first. Ground down in that back foot and the front with your toes. Bring your hand, hold on to the leg and then open yourself up softly. Work with the energies of the body. Breathe out, bringing that arm down. Use your breath to draw the energy up from your feet to the tips of your fingers and then exhale, soften off. Well done. So we're trying to navigate each posture and be fully present in each posture that we do. We're not moving on to the next posture in our mind. You're just fully present with whatever's in front of you. So inhale, open up. That's our last one. We're going to lunge. Come down into a lunge, hold yourself steady, get ready to push yourself up into warrior lunge. Come into it easy. We've already forgotten the triangle, we're moving on. You're exhaling, you're grounding down, using that energy to sink down into that front knee. And you see your big toe, you're inhaling, you're sweeping that energy up, make it strong. And then exhale, lean down into that front knee, create some tension, okay? With each pulse, you can create that little bit of tension by going that little bit further, but you want it to flow. So be careful that you're not jarring with that tension if you've pushed yourself too far. Okay, so exhale, sink down. That was our last one. Warrior lunge, well done. Breathe in, open up the chest. Okay, now we're headed to flying warrior. So you wanna come in by lifting that back leg, Taking it slowly, tilting down, nice strong arms. Your leg wants to feel like it's attached to a rod running from the top of your head. Looking forward, trying to create that balance. Last one, exhale, sinking down, lifting that back leg up. Okay, inhaling both feet together. Draw that energy up from the feet and then we're sending it back down. So you're grounding down, coming down 
into the toes. Step back with the left foot. Warrior triangle. So back foot at an angle, straighten that front leg. Come anywhere on that leg before you open up into our triangle this morning. And then exhale, sink down into the posture. So you're creating channels, moving energy around the body with each movement. It's not just creating pretty shapes. Inhale. Okay, last one here. Feel into it. Bring awareness, ready for warrior lunge. So bring yourself down, make sure you've got a nice strong back leg. Get your balance, then push yourself up slowly, okay? Grounding down through the feet. Grounding down as you come into that front knee. Go that little bit further, and then you rebound up with the energy. So you're inhaling, slight back bend. And then lean forward, lean into it. You want to be in time with the wood block. So it's there as like our Zen master to keep us in rhythm. So you don't have to think about it. Okay, last one. Come up. Okay, from here, now you know you're gonna come into Flying Warrior. Come in slow. Make it easy on yourself, arms nice and wide, tilt down, and then breathe in, soften off. So exhale, come into the posture, diving down. Virabhadrasana to the Flying Warrior, last one. Open up. Lift that back leg. Great work. Bring both hands up above the head. Again, you're going to ground down by coming down into a forward bend. Feel the energy in your feet. Spinal extension. So lift the head, look forward. And then you're going to step back into down dog. So come back into downward dog. So nice straight back. Come into a plank. And then we've got knees, chest, chin, Ashtang Asana. Ashtang just means eight, eight points. Keep the elbows in and then let's pulse. Breathe in. Open up the chest, lift the head, look forward. Exhale, sink down. Again, you can feel the energy channels that you're trying to create. So you're breathing in from your toes, you're sending it up the center of your body, all the way to the top of your head, and then you're breathing it back out. So it's like your whole body is part of the breathing rhythm. And you're creating that flow. Okay, one more. Come up into our final cobra. And then we've got cat, dog. So come into cat, round that back, look up at your navel. Then you're gonna drop the belly, lift the head. And then as we exhale, cross the legs behind you. So exhale, roll the legs out in front of you, interlace the fingers. As you breathe in, run your hands down the legs, bring them up above your head. Okay, from here, you're going to exhale, grab hold of the big toes. And then breathe in, lengthen the spine. So you can keep your legs straight, but you're trying to lift the spine up and over the legs, over the thighs. Like you're trying to lift them as if you had maybe something in your lap. And you're trying to lift your body over that. Close the eyes, make it internal. And then with each pulse, can you come that little bit lower without compromising or getting a, you know, hunch back as you come down. Okay, last one. Great work. 
Okay, this time you're going to inhale. We're going to lift that knee. So inhale, lift the knee, pop the right foot beside the knee. Then you're going to exhale, bring your right hand behind your back. Push the heel out. As you inhale, lift the left hand up. Reach up out of the spine and then wrap it around for our twist this morning, looking over our right shoulder. Inhale, draw the energy up from your sitting bones, push out through the heel of your foot and then exhale, bring yourself around into the twist, letting go as you do. Well done. Okay, this will be our last one. So exhale. So let's swap the legs over straight from here. So inhale, swap the legs over. You're gonna exhale, bring the left hand behind your back. Sit yourself nice and tall. And then inhale, bring that right hand up. Reach up out of the ribs, really stretch before you wrap it around the knee. We're just trying to iron out any kinks in the system. So you've got your muscles that you're unkinking, but then you've also got the subtle bodies, those energies that we're talking about that run up and down the body. They're actually called your nadis. Okay, last one. Well done. From here, we're gonna come cross-legged with an inhale. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, squeeze the chest open. Breathe in. And then exhale, let's take a bow. Well done. Inhaling, let go of your hands, bring them up above the head, bring the palms together to create that connection. Exhale, bring your hands down the center. So you're trying to keep the energy in with that. And then drop from your sitting bones all the way to the top of your head. And then with that our breath out, soften the shoulders, relax yourself down. Well done, come down into Shavasana, so lay down in corpse pose. We're gonna finish with our 6-6 six, six Ujjayi breathing to calm the nervous system. You're getting all that spinal fluid moving around with your breath and your movement. Okay, so it's gonna be breathe in for six, hold for six, breathe out for six, hold out for six. So nice and comfortable. When you're ready, breathe in. Ujjayi breath in. When we reach the top, you're gonna to hold in. So hold for six. Breathe out for six. Hold out for six. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Last round. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. 
Lovely, okay, just breathe in now, breathe in. Hold it for a moment and then just breathe out any tension so you're letting go. Just let everything go, sink back down into the floor, releasing our old bodies we woke up with, walking into your new yogic body that we fashioned this morning. When you're ready, bring yourself back up, come into a seated position. So just being aware of those channels that you're opening up in your system so that you're clear, you're clearing out any um, tension, emotions. Yeah, so you're running super clean. And then let's breathe in together. So breathe in, bring your hands out to the sides, bring them up above your head, bring the palms together. And then with that final exhale, breathe it out our breath out come down the center lock it into your heart and with confidence let's take a bow to ourselves take a bow to our collective our sangha and take a bow to the living yoga method thank you so much for practice this morning keep it soft keep it real namaste well done morning team great day and I shall see you either Friday at 9.30 or I'll see you on Monday. Take care.